Hi everyone. I recently noticed that some files on my external hard disk drive are missing. I mean, I did not delete them, but they went missing. It could mean that the drive's health is getting bad. I may have to buy a new HDD in the future. Or it's just a case of missing partition. And if this happens to you and your files go missing, do these steps carefully. First step, the most important step of all, step number 1. Stop using the drive immediately the moment you realize that your files are missing. Don't perform any write operations on the drive. I mean, don't copy any files into the drive. Because the deleted files could still be there. The more you use the drive, the harder it becomes to recover. So recover the files as fast as you can. Because the deleted files could still be there if you don't overwrite the data and it means that there is a chance that you can recover them if you act quickly. If more data overwrite passes occur, I mean if multiple copy operations occur then your data gets splattered and it becomes almost impossible to recover. Let's try to understand what happened there first. The file partitions of that folder got lost, inaccessible and it possibly occurred when you disconnected your drive suddenly or during a power failure, electric failure or gravity, physical damages. But if you realized early that your files are missing from your drive then don't worry, you may recover the files. In case of partition errors, the files could still be there in a folder named folder.000 in a .chk check file format. If they are deleted files, they may appear in recycle bin folder of the drive. Usually you can't see them or access them by yourself, but we will record them by doing whatever it takes. Okay, very important, code 69, sorry I had to get your attention because the next precaution we're gonna take is very important. Do not output the recovered files into that same drive, I mean into that same damaged drive. Also, you need to download a free software called Recova. It's pronounced Recova, okay? And also don't install Recova in the damaged drive. Or you can call it Recova, however you like it. First, download Recova free version. Unbelievably, it's better than a $70 software that I tried before Recova. Surprisingly, that $70 software failed to even recognize my lost files. So I would highly recommend you to download the free version of Recova. If your files don't show up on recover or if this doesn't work for you then just stop using the drive, disconnect the drive immediately and take it to an experienced data recovery expert in your city. Good luck. Now let's start. Go to Google and type recover. The spelling is R E C U V A. You can call it recover however you like it. Download it. Okay. Download free version. Yes, that's it. Free download. Download it from File Hippo. Download latest version and close the advertisements. Wait for it. Yeah, start download. I was downloading something else while doing this so the speed is not at its best. Open.
connect the HDD now. Okay, these are the files in my drive. Go to Windows search and type file explorer options. Go to view tab. Now drag the slider down. Uncheck hide protected operating system files. You also you need to recheck it later. Now you see there's a new folder. There are two new folders actually. One is recycle bin and the other one is found dot triple zero folder. Now open recover. next all files all files next in a specific location browse and select the hard disk drive which in this case is elements yeah now click on found dot triple zero see you see the missing files there now click on next now you can start it or you can enable a deep scan but deep scan will take a lot of time in most cases you can find the missing files in a normal scan but here I can't see anything so I need to go to switch to advanced mode and then click on options and then go to actions and then select these files first okay first deselect them all and then go to the options again go to actions now select show files found in hidden system directories show zero byte files show securely overwritten files and also scan for non deleted files check these four things and also click and also check restore folder structure now click on ok ok now you need to scan so click on scan when the scan is done click on the files you want to recover you see that the state is not deleted and there are no overwritten clusters on these files that means I can successfully recover these files so click on the files you want to recover or you can just select them all in at the top left corner recover or you can just recover the highlighted files I'm gonna recover one file to show you how Now pick a new drive because picking the same damaged drive will result in corrupted clusters. So you need to pick any other drive except the damaged drive. You need to pick a new drive. Okay here in this case I am picking F because my damaged drive is J. Okay, I'm also going to create a new folder. I created a new folder and then I clicked on it and pressed OK and it recorded. I'm going to click OK again. 
now I'm going to go into that folder to check if my files are there or not now you see a new folder dot triple zero and open it here you see your files just test it once My files are recorded successfully, also there is no frame rate issue, it's just the screen recorder's issue and if you didn't understand what I just showed you, just go to a data recovery expert because that's the best you can do and also you don't wanna mess your drive so stop using the drive and go to a data recovery expert or if you're clear about what to do then do it yourself. Good luck, good luck data recovering.